Master Halleck. I take it NVIDIA has been destroyed then? I must say you're here sooner than expected. In the name of the AMD Reddit? You're under arrest, Chancellor. Are you threatening me, Master Halleck? The Reddit will decide your fate. A few moments later. I have the power to give you frames. You must choose. I can't hold the crown any longer. My node, my node is too weak. Too weak. Jufus. I am going to end this once and for all. You can't. He must stand trial. He has control. Linus and Jay's two cents. Dangerous to be left alive. I'm too weak. Oh, don't kill me, please. It's not the AMD way. I need him. Please, no, no. <laughs> About 800 watts! Ah! Ah! Lol, noob. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. The place where we... Remove power limits and test the fastest and only the fastest a and we also banned some fanboys So if you didn't get the analogy there um, uh, AMD is like almost about to take the crown away from Sidious there uh, or Jensen and then uh, you know Jensen or Me me. I'm the I'm the Anakin me. I remove the power limits NVIDIA takes the crown, destroys AMD again. That's pretty much the whole premise. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, there's one video back from this one where I kind of discuss more in depth about uh, uh, purchasing decisions and how you want to buy your uh, uh, graphics card products better. Essentially, the only two things that you can add to a purchase, like a graphics card, is voltage and power. When you add those two things to NVIDIA cards, they scale a lot further than Big Navi does, right? It's just a clock speed thing. Uh, and a bandwidth thing, right? So that's why when people ask me if I'm going to get a Big Navi card, uh, no, because I'm, like, I'm not interested in a product that is gimped from, like, I can't do anything with it, you know what I mean? If you increase power limits and voltages into Big Navi, the clock speed isn't going to scale because it doesn't actually have the bandwidth to scale with it, right? So I already know that a power unlimited 3090 is going to be the fastest anyway. Plus, I'll never mind the features and the ray tracing and all that stuff anyway, right? But if you do have a big Navi card and you're interested, compare your numbers with mine today. That's what we're doing today. Man, when it comes to like updating graphs oh i really don't enjoy it but i know it has to get done right uh it, i think that's why i was putting this video off for so long it just takes so damn long to update the graphs but i updated them we got all the graphs here we got 1080p and 4k uh the usual game suite that i do uh no ray tracing benchmarks today i'll do a separate video on that one this is just like 1080p and 4k rasterized gaming right uh, that's about it. Let's get into it. Uh, onto the, onto the Batmobile, and then here's the graphs. Oh 
3090 is almost 50% faster than a power modded 2080 Ti. So if anyone, if anyone's been following me for a really long time, uh, one of the very first things I said about Ampere was going to be, if you are a 2080 Ti owner, the only upgrade for you is going to be that 3090. And it is a hell of an upgrade, man. It is a good, it's a good card. It's expensive though. It's very expensive. Um, if you if you are a 2080 Ti owner and you haven't gotten a 3090 yet, or you're kind of there's a stock issue, maybe wait for the 3080 Ti. It should be like within a couple of percent of it for much cheaper, right? That might be the better option. But if you were kind of hesitating to see what a 3090 can really do, I would not hesitate to buy a 3090 for you. Like like go ahead, man. It's a good buy. It's a good buy. Second thing to note here about the power draws, the highest, like, again, go back in the video, uh, one video before this one, I actually talk about the power draws uh, uh, during benchmarks and gaming and stuff, uh, much more in depth in the stream, uh, halfway through, whatever, just go to the timestamp, but essentially uh, the 3090 silicon quality is much better than the 3080, that it actually only draws 700 watts. Like in like like maximum in gaming and in, in uh in Warzone it draws like 550. It's like nothing, uh 1080p right. But uh in like 4K max HDR ray tracing it's like 700 watts. So you actually don't have to power mod them that far. Like like two eight pins is fine. Like if you have a two eight pin model, don't worry about getting a th a three eight pin model. You're totally fine if you're just gaming benchmarking and XOC, that's a different, we don't do that kind of crap here, but if you're just gaming and you have like a Zotac cheat model or like a, an Asus Tough or a Gigabyte G Eagle OC or whatever, 2-8 pin, you're fine, just shunt it, maybe, maybe limit it to maybe 675 watts, 650, 700, it's a fantastic, the silicon quality is fantastic, it, it pulls, the, uh, the power pull, the power wattage pull to SM ratio is much better than the 3080. The 3080 is a is a pig, man. That thing's a pig. But the uh, the 3090, not so much. Good note. Good note. And remember, this is a gaming channel. When I say Big Navi's not gonna scale with clock speed, I mean that in gaming. Don't worry about the fire strike score. Gaming. We're, we're, I don't. I literally don't know how to say that any other way. Gaming channel. Gaming. Anyway, I'm not really going to cover too much more here. Everything that I wanted to say about the 3090 power modding benchmarking, I said it in the video before this one. Just go there, time skip to it, check it out, and just listen to me ramble for 30 minutes. It's fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. And, uh, yeah, if you like the content... Hit that subscribe button, do all that YouTube SEO stuff, like, share, subscribe. Uh, comment down below if you need to know specific settings about a game that I use to benchmark or like my system specs or something that you want to know specifics about. 
so you can compare your system. I'll happily post, like, the, 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 the presets are all there, but just in case you're confused about a certain preset, just ask down below and then, uh, I'll, I'll clarify it for you. So you can kind of bench your big Navi numbers or your, or your 3090, like, like benchmark what you got against mine so you know where you sit in the stack, right? That's fun. It's fun, right? Uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Actually, I will see you tonight at 6 p.m. on Twitch, PST, and then we're going to do some, uh, some big Navi comparisons as well. That was on the schedule for tonight. So anyway, see you guys on Twitch, see you guys in the next one, and I'll talk to you later.